Wow. Thank you so much. Oh, kweli wewe, wewe ni mungu, kweli wewe, wasta hili, umeketi juu sana, kwenye kiti cha enzi, umejivika utukufu, wewe ni mungu. Wow, Father, we thank you so much for this moment as we share this word. I pray that in Jesus' name, to revive somebody, to heal somebody. Lord, it would heart, touch the heart of somebody. In the name of Jesus, those who are down will be lifted. There is healing moving around. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Welcome so much. My name is Pastor Eric Mue. I'm happy to be with you again. The book of Ephesians 5, 1, the Bible says, Therefore, be imitators of God. I don't want to read that scripture, the full of it, but it mentions of the characters of those who imitate God. I want to speak of uh, some limitations that you should overcome for you to allow God, for you to allow God to operate easily in your life. Some limitation you should overcome uh, for you to allow God to operate easily in your life. These are doors, if you close in your life, then you will make it very easy for you to receive the blessings of God and even to be promoted to reach where God wants you to be. Now, number one is lying tongue. And they are, they are, they are very much mentioned in the book of Ephesians. Um, number one, and, and also you know that uh, the book of Proverbs that says there, uh, the seven things that God hates. Yes, the six things, there are seven. Is it in the book of Psalms? Yeah, it mentions of, of those things that God hates. Now, lying tongue. If you want God to operate in your life, you must fight the spirit of lying. Roya kuongea uongo. The spirit of deception. Roya kudanganya. You know, this spirit is used by the tricky people. You want to defend yourself by using a lie. And uh, that's where now we remove Jesus. And then we bring our own wisdom and our own knowledge. Thinking that that is the only way that you can be able to uh, overcome. And most people have been deceived by their own wisdom. Of course, you know, the Bible says that in those days that the wisdom of men will increase, the knowledge of men will increase. People will have a lot of knowledge. And I would think the way that they think is the way, for sure, is not the way. So, lying tongue is, a, is something that, and lying spirit is something that can limit God to operate in your life. Please be careful with the spirit of lying. It's not a spirit of God. The Bible says the father of all liars is the devil because he has been lying from the beginning. He has been silly from the beginning. He deceived Adam and Eve. He lied to them. He lied to Samson. Told him, uh, he has lied to many people. When you read in the Bible, you see the spirit spirit of lying is a very bad spirit. Number two, the spirit of unfaithfulness. The spirit of unfaithfulness is a bad spirit. People cannot be faithful with a little. And the Bible says if you are not faithful with a little, you cannot be trusted with a great. So you know that there are things that you have to escape that is unfaithfulness. I remember I was given a story of somebody who used to steal offering. So what happened one day was they were kamua watoe, watoe, watoe kila mtu mia, 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 mia. Kwa sababu walikuwa na chukua na otizote za mia. Na kweli wakatoa, wakatoa kila mtu mia, mia, mia. Those were many days ago and 100 shilling was a big note. So walipotoa. Masaa ile imefika ndugu amekuja ameondoa sadaka ameweka uh, ameweka ame, 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 ameenda nayo so what happened eh hey, sasa 
time ikafika wazee wakakuja kuangalia hizo kihesabiwa wakapata 50-50 hawakupata hata noti moja ya mia then mzee mmoja akasema mbona mimi nilitoa mia moja iko wapi na huyu mwingine akasema mia huyu mwingine akasema hata mimi nilitoa mia ndugu akaambiwa tupe pesa and what happened he had put that money into his pocket akatoa he was so excited he didn't want any other department he always wanted saza sadaka anawekwa kwa sadaka because he knew that he was unfaithful he was stealing from the offering what a shame and what a curse because if you steal money an offering money you know that money is a sadaka pesa ya sacrifice hizo ni mashida za watu wameleta kwa altar so if you start stealing you know that you are not going to go far well, the other kind of unfaithfulness in this in serving kuna watu ambao wamewekwa kwa service na Mungu wanachelewa umewekwa mahali kuimba and because you want to frustrate the pastor unakuja saa tano ya, ya, ya mchana unakuja saa ine na utaki mtu akuulize unasema so far they don't pay me so you are not faithful with the little that god has given you you want to boast you want to show the pastor that uh, they cannot do it without you let me tell you the gifts of god are irrevocable yes but opportunities za mungu they cannot be lost whatever happens they are transferred so if you misuse that opportunity that god has given you to serve with unfaithfulness remember you will be replaced and and it's not good for you to be replaced you better correct yourself become faithful the spirit of unfaithfulness is dangerous number three, the spirit of sexual immorality can limit you from receiving from god kuna watu ambao wameingia kwa sherati and they don't care there is no judgment you can notice realize this when the day that you joined that club ya sexual immorality either it's a prostitution either it is a fornication either it's a is is a, is, a, is, a, is a incest either it is homosexuality look at your life what is happening in your life since you joined the club ya masturbation na pornography what is happening in your life are you moving up or are you moving down you realize that there is something that is not happening in your life and the reason being because you have allowed sin ya sexual morality in your bible nasema sin other sins are outside your body but the sin of sexual morality is against your own body so be careful this is something that can limit you to reach where you are supposed to reach the other one is sleeping the spirit of over sleeping and an unnecessary slumber roho ya kulala na roho ya mausingizi yenye haistahili unastahili kupigana na roho ya usingizi kwa sababu hiyo spirit inaweza kukuzuia kufika mahali penye unastahili kufika like for instance the time that you are expected to be praying you are sleeping the time that you are expected to be alert demons are at work and you are still sleeping please wake up from your slumber god doesn't want people who love sleeping god wants people who are awake we must be both spiritually awake and physically awake we should be awake because this life is not a matter of sleeping eating and drinking this is a battle the bible says the kingdom of god suffereth violence and only the violent shall take it by force you cannot be sleeping and you expect to take the kingdom of god the other one is the spirit of stinginess royal stinginess ile you cannot give your so stingy 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 of course you know wakati unasikia pastor anasema kuna project unasikia hey hapana kwani ni pesa tu yangu anataka you are so stingy you cannot give let me tell you uh, that spirit can really limit you a lot because of course you know that financial breakthrough huwa inakujaga na hiyo giving when you, you become a giver then you will be a receiver god will give you more and more and more wake up from the spirit of stinginess in jesus name may god set you free and make your hand uh, very open let your hands learn how to give give to the poor give to the widows give to the orphan give to the church give to the house of god give support the work of god give to the needy anybody in need be a giver usiwe na manguo kama 55 ni kama unafungua unafungua eh, eh, duka ya manguo kwako na kuna watu wanateseka wana manguo become a giver it's good to share what god has given you the other spirit is the spirit of selfishness roho ya kujipenda na hiyo ndio inaletanga inafanyanga watu wana betray wana betray wengine because you are selfish you all, you are the only one who wants to remain in that company you want that position you are you, you 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 want people to be fired 
so that you may be promoted. That spirit of selfishness, just I, I and I and I and I, in your own bio. May God deliver you from it. May God help you that you will not be selfish with what God has given you. Even the gifts zenye Mungu amekupatia ukienda mahali na uone watu wanateseka na wana mtu wa kuimba hawana mtu wa kuwasaidia please help them because that gift is just by the grace of god tafadhali nikwambie hicho kipawa Mungu amekupatia amekupatia tu as a privilege you are paid nothing so don't be selfish with it the other thing number number seven is hatred and jealousy roho ya wivu na chuki ni roho ambaye inaweza kukufanya usiendelee na inaweza zuia Mungu ku operate in your life because when you when you are jealous when you are jealous you can even kill a person because of because of jealousy unauliza kwa nini amebarikiwa mimi sijabarikiwa roho ya chuki inafanya mtu ana, anachukia tu watu bure unashindwa ni nini mtu anakuulizaga kwa sababu wako na chuki na yeye anaingia mpaka kwa mafamilia watu wako na wivu because you want to be the brother mwenye anakuwa uh, watu wote watakuwa nakimbia wanamuinamia you want to be that sister amba nimeona watu kwa mafamilia wenye wanataka wakue the only breadwinners let me tell you one thing you realize when many people are blessed in your family your life becomes easy because anytime you are receiving a call you will not be expecting give me give me give me you will be expecting people you will hear people say uh, what should we do tunastahili kufanya ni kuna kashamba tumeona mahali tunastahili kuchanga pesa ngapi ndio tukanunue pamoja kuna project fulani kwa mahali fulani tunaweza fanya nini hata kwa kanisa ikiwa tu ni tajiri mmoja nakwambia tahama hiyo kanisa kwa sababu atasumbuka kila ma project kanisa ni yeye inaangalia kila wakati ni yeye anaangaliliwa kwa sababu ni yeye tu peke yake so you should not be you should not have jealousy when people are rising they, they are rising when you see people being promoted rejoice because it makes your heart easier it makes your work easier rejoice 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 learn how to celebrate people Usianze kusema wao wako na maringo, oh juu alitoa wimbo mpya sasa hata tuongelesha, oh juu alionekana kwa TV sasa hata tuongelesha, oh juu alinunua nguo mpya hata tuongelesha. Hiyo ni roho ya wivu na ishindo katika jina la Yesu. May God give you a big heart, a heart of loving people, a heart yenye inatakia watu mazuri katika jina la Yesu. The other spirit is a spirit of hypocrisy, roho ya kujifanya ni roho mbaya sana. Inafanyanga mtu anaf, ana, ana, unafikiria mko pamoja na hamuko pamoja ana ana believe tu ni kama mko pamoja <laughs> alafu uko nyuma anakukula that spirit of hypocrisy is the spirit of the devil may it be defeated in jesus name the last spirit is the spirit of disobedience raw ya disobedience ni mbaya raw ya disobedience we inafanya watu wanakuwa wakatili with they become rebellious hawataki kusikia you don't want to hear your 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 pastor you don't want to hear your father you don't want to hear your mother you don't want to listen to your parents you are so disobedient may god deliver you you are you are disobedient to god may god deliver you let me mention this the last one that i had not written down is the spirit of pride roho ya kiburi ni mbaya inafanyanga mtu anasikia ni kama hakuna mtu mwingine anastahili kuongea yeye akiongea i am the man of the season i am the person i am the ukianza kusikia the and i i the i the unajua hapo umeanza kuingia kwenye kiti cha Mungu umeanza kuchukua space ya Mungu God is I am whom I am may you be humble from today may God give you humility if you fight this intense spirit in and from your life you will be a free man God bless you I love you so much thank you